Me. And I believe I'll go second. Okay, you're going second? Just out of habit at this point. Okay. Will I get one? Okay. <sighs> Um. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised they don't want the tree to be used in premium, but I guess maybe they realize like cards like Kize like only stay relevant in the format that they're made in. Because if they make any like large changes to the game, then it's just going to make players feel bad. I mean, I think my dragon tree is that if it were to make its way into premium. It would probably be like C tier at best. Maybe even B tier. I think it would definitely be C tier. Like I'm it's probably gonna be C tier in overdress. Like yeah, it takes no. way too long to get started. Yeah, I mean granted like they have to give it some form of like acceleration or whatever. Um but it, it's very whatever. Uh I don't know if you um I posted it. They did like a test game between like uh, Vamoose, Bruce, and uh, the Dragon Tree. Uh, first of all, the Dragon Tree player like survives by like heal trigger like two times. <laughs> yeah. But like, I didn't realize that the Dragon Tree's like skill isn't like once per turn. So once you check that OT, if you're playing Dragon Empire, you can just restand like Espers on Rearguard and like just fucking whack your opponent with restanding columns over and over again. So it's like a giga kill turn. So oh, no no no. Because the OT is removed from game. Yeah, no, it's removed from the game, but like I'm saying, like so you attack with the tree, you like put 100 million on an Esper, you swing with the Esper, and then you attack again, and I don't remember if his skill procs again, or if you just use the Esper skill to Soul Blast, and ooh, restand again, but it's, it's just yeah, interesting. You use Esper, you just use Esper. You just use Esper, okay. It just looked funny, and it made, and it, I see, people like now commenting like oh my god it makes so much sense they're gonna make you you into the villain this is gonna be you use villain arc and i'm just sitting here like thinking like yes i remember aichi in that coat silver i i don't think you use gonna have a villain arc i'm sorry the i'm just saying or cool the, the worst villain arc you're gonna have is going to america and overdosing on cheeseburgers and having a strip <coughs> Gio does his own cooking, though. Like, he's, like, super good with that. He does his own cooking, but he's a vis he, he's visiting in America. Why would you not try out food? That's uh, because, like, they literally just, like, talked about that in an episode. They were like, oh, why don't you guys do other shopping? And they're like, what are you, an idiot? We're going to not play. We're going to get ready. And then they go into a card shop. <laughs> That's actually degenerate. <laughs> That's actually degenerate. <laughs> That's exactly what I would do. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, like, like a lot of like world's players actually did that. So I mean, I can't really complain. No guard. It's really cool, honestly. Critical trigger. Let's go. Hey, it's not OT, so I'm happy. <laughs> uh, ride. Skill counter blast one. Look at the top five cards in my deck. Let's go. This is, that is another thing I didn't like about that episode. Like, Sam's, like, ride chants were, like, really weird. I mean, he's also... So, according to him, by his own admission, he's a weeb. <laughs> he is a weeb, and I loved it. He's like, I love Japanese anime, and I'm just like, oh, this 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 has so much awareness to it, because it's on... It's from a Japanese company on their English YouTube in English subtitles. <laughs> exactly who they were calling out. <laughs> they knew it. <laughs> like, they knew. They knew. I'm sitting here as a Mecha fan like, man, I feel seen but also insulted, but I love it. <laughs> oh, I just loved it. 
Oh, uh, I didn't like the chanting. I think that was just way too much. I feel like that's way more of like a like a Japanese nerd thing than it is an American nerd thing. Also, yeah. the whole like fighting in a ranch that was kind of too much. Hey, hey. I don't know why the Japanese are so into cowboys. Like, they just love the concept of a cowboy. Todd Wayne was kind of okay until you realized that he was kind of a fucking weirdo. But, yeah. <laughs> like, have you seen the uh, the cowboy Sentai Ranger? Yes. <laughs> uh, See you again. <laughs> just shoots them. <laughs> just pow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 18? 20. Well, I'm gonna take it. Nothing. Push this to soul. And draw soul charge skill. Push this to soul. Give this divine gauge and draw. Okay. Attack your vanguard for twenty. Uh, no guard. Stand trigger. Stand power. Of course. Draw trigger. Power draw. Skill. Um. Discard. Discard. Restand the vanguard. That works on grade two. Yep. That's funny. It's Drive Minus One though, right? Huh? It's Drive Minus One though, right? Yeah, so. No it does. Alright, so it just it just doesn't hit. Yep. No, it's 20. Why is it 20? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm boosting anyway. 30! Because she gives the um, boosted unit plus 10. Oh, right, right, right. right. 30. Uh, uh, then... I'm just gonna take it. No trigger. 18 plus uh, 10, 28 to Vanguard. Uh, guard. Discard, discard and restand. Uh, 18, 28 again. Uh, guard. Cards in hand. Seven. Okay, go ahead. Stand draw. I'm sorry for being so mean there. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling I'm getting unlucky again. Um, that was incredibly mean, and I apologize. Going oh, to right ascendance, and I'm going to attack your rigor. Sure, one to pass. Why is it one to pass? Wait, I why do you have a great thing on rigor? Because she called it out. That's the only reason why I was able to do that. Oh my god! <laughs> do I trigger I all the power to my finger? That's why I screech. Let's go. Oh my god. Draw. Oh, that's actually really funny. That's really funny. <laughs> Force two. This is kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, 28, sorry, 23 to Vanguard with a crit. Give me that PG. Go on, give me. Uh, give crit me. I agree. Power to my Vanguard. So, 35, you want two to pass? Yes. All effects. All effects and stand. What? <laughs> Wait, is that even enough? I'm at um, 25, 35. This is 23. Yeah. 33. Oh my 30. god. So three damage, please. Draw trigger, draw one. Second check. Third check. Wow, I just got cheesed hardcore. Oh, oh. What the hell? How did you, did you know those were there? No. <laughs> oh my god. Today is not my day, Jesus. Okay, also, I'm also, I'm also playing a deck that just basically cycles through its own deck and thins it out. Oh, the OT was on the bottom. Oh, and a heal was on the bottom. Damn. The OT was literally the last card of my deck. So yeah, uh, that's uh, that's that's for Golly. <laughs> so it's just a rush deck. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I like definitely. Two counter blast or an access to a uh, VAR. Good luck. <laughs> I wanted to try a sweet cocktail, but it's like not coming up at all. <laughs> sweet cocktail. I also had like only grade threes in my hand, so I couldn't have guarded even if I wanted to. That's fair. I'm gonna go three. Uh, Mulligan four. One, two, three. Oh, that's that's a something. 
Oh, that's interesting. That's, I don't like that. That's, oh, oh, that's, oh. Yeah, I definitely need to shuffle this deck a little bit. My boy T Chomp. Yeah, I just like the, um... Maybe the Giraffa just feels more consistent for some reason. Alright, so... Do I get to choose again, or...? Yeah, you do get to choose again, actually. Alright, I'll go second again. Draw. Ride. Draw. Skill. Put this to soul, because we're not going to need that where we're going, and draw. Okay. And all this. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Stay to draw. Going to ride Dorcas. Draw quick shield. Look at top five. Just love the name Dorcas. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, going to add the moth. Discard quick shield. Oh, that's happening. You're really gonna give me two counter blocks again. <laughs> uh, no idea, let's find out. No guard. Draw trigger. Your turn. Skill, counter blast one. Look at the top five. What'd you get, like, only triggers? I don't understand. Okay. So you just look at top five in Superior Call? Yep. Oh my god. And then if it's Regalia, I give Divine Gage, and then her own skill, I give her Divine Gage. Okay. Let's see if I can come back at all. Huh? This build isn't really optimized for grade two gaming. Skill, still charge three. Which I can. Oh, uh, what does that card do? Uh, she puts herself into soul, and then I can put a divine gauge on something else and draw a card. Uh, is that if it hits? No. Okay, and how much is she attacking with? Ten. Guard. Eighteen. No guard. All effects. Draw trigger, draw one. Second check. Oh man, two draw triggers right here. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, although my hand is really not nice to me. Um, call. Remember T Chomp. In this world, nothing is fine. 17. Uh. Uh, how much is this OT? Go away. Watch me check OT. Eric's. No, don't get OT. OT is only for good boys and girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not allowed to. <laughs> You're not allowed to have fun. Oh, thank you. Watch the video, by the way. Force two. Um, oh, he left. No, I'm still here. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, I saw that. So, uh, what did you think of it? Uh, it was extremely cursed. It was funny, though. It was funny. I disliked the lack of book knowledge. Also, Relish Lady can only block Vanguard attack to use the skill. Um, there was another thing good I think you guys figured it out. I don't remember. Oh, no, you didn't. Overwhelm's GB3 is like only on face down cards and damage. Uh, T chop. I'm supposed to put this down. Yeah, okay. And then just give me a divine gauge. And then, uh, Norn skill, I give two units divine gauge. Okay. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna track your bank again. Uh, no force two, right? Not on hit. No. Not on hit. Not on hit. Um. Hello. How much are you attacking with? Ten. 
I mm. smack. I'm just gonna take it. No trigger. Smack. Skill. Push this to soul. Give her three whole divine gauges and draw. I don't like that. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna swing at your vanguard for 23 and a crit. <laughs> I'm going to sentinel discard and pulse. First check, Lorne. Second check, bar. Okay. Skill. Discard a divine gauge. Discard this. Stand the vanguard plus ten. Okay. So just twenty three. Twenty three with a grit. Okay. One to pass. Good. Stand <coughs> draw. Ride flagberg. Obviously, I can't choose your rear guard to put a cradle on it. Wait, I can... Wait, how does that work? I cannot be affected by anything of my opponent's cards. Yeah, but how does that work when I place something on your units? Like, it's just not affected by it, right? I mean... Yeah. So it's, like, but still I don't there. Even, I don't even, wait. <laughs> how does that work when you put something on your opponent's cards? <laughs> I think about it. Give me one second. <laughs> That's actually a really good question. Let's see. Uh... I didn't think Kratos could also play her undefined gauge, but I also have never played this before. Oh, hold on. Yep, take your time. This is actually really interesting. Right, like, it just says they're not affected, right? Yeah. Um, sweet cocktail. Now the better question is, is the cradle marker considered to have a divine cage and is not affected by my carpets? I don't know. Unfortunately, I have to be the one that thinks about these things because I'm one of the only Mega Kalani players that regularly plays against Genesis, I guess. Yeah. Welcome to uh, Genesis Hell. E. I really don't yeah. like Regalia Rush. We have cookies. Uh... You know, I like to play Regalia as a Rush deck. <laughs> the more I play with the sentence, like it's really funny to get triggers afterwards, but I think I like Giraffa more. So maybe you'll play like Sweet Cocktail and Giraffa and then I'll play Eric's. Um 
Maybe she has no good features. I might be able to figure that out. Yeah, I, I assume Idris that would probably be the one that you look at there. I I almost don't even think you can choose it. I'm not sure. It just says unaffected, right? Yeah, like unaffected. And cradle markers are technically yours. Yeah. Wait. Are they? I mean, I feel like they are. I'm not sure. But it's not under your control. Yeah, which one am I? <laughs> that begs the other question is the cradle marker now yours and thus <laughs> affects you even during my turn <laughs> cause control isn't really established too much as out of like domination right okay During the opponent's turn, I'm doing it during my turn. By the way, Denki. Yeah. Why was your buddy like they flipped Rene for the cost of Rene instead of like flipping something else? <laughs> <clears throat> they just got like a limited G zone, or it's a uh... his deck is nowhere near complete. Gotcha. So like everything requires like its own personal G flip. Okay. Uh... Uh, I actually don't know, because... Because Rene can flip anything. I know that. Kijuzan has other things, but that's just what he ended up doing. Uh, if you have, like, spacing issues, you can always just get, like, um, stuff like Cyclone, or, like, older cheaper G units as like flip fodders. That's what I did when like I was still like putting together my G zone. Alright. Yeah. Uh what's up Silver? So according to Judge Chet, um since it since it's unaffected, it's not a legal target. Okay. Um, when a when it cannot be affected effect with specific conditions is applied to a card, when an effect that meets that condition would be applied, the effect does not apply to that card. Uh, the effect cannot choose that card, does not change the information of that card, and if the effect was changed to the zone or state of that card, it is not performed. It, is, it also cannot be used as the cost for the ability or effect that meets that condition. That so, a cradle is confirmed as a change of state in the card. That's interesting. Said, I actually should have thought about that anyway because Sweet Cocktail chooses a rear guard, not a rear guard circle. Well, yeah, it says that. Yeah, yeah. So, what I'm saying is, you couldn't even touch this anyway because she can't be affected. I didn't know that it included targeting. Yeah. <clears throat> like, you, you, like. <sighs> See, this is the wording, like, with resist. I hate resist, and this is also just as bad wording. <laughs> yeah. I, this is frustrating. Anyway, continue. I'm so sorry. No, it's all good. Like, I, I was genuinely, curi genuinely curious as well. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure you were uh, not getting screwed there. I kind of knew that was the case, but, like, I didn't trust myself. I did not know if that was the case, so I was curious how that was gonna work. Because I, I, based 
based on the wording of the card, like it would seem like you would be able to place the cradle, like it just wouldn't be affected by it during my turn. You know. But then like it would be a question of like, is the cradle a card under your control, or is it more of like a marker at that point? So like knowing that it's like a change in the state of the card, like um being locked is really important to know. Yeah, it being cradled is a is a state. That's so interesting and weird. It, it is in fact the status effect. <laughs> That's so fucking weird. I don't like that. Um, we, like, we like JRPGs here. Thank you. <laughs> we stand good. We stand good JRPGs. Going to put an inlet pulse on the bottom. T chop, please let me G guard. I haven't G guarded in months. <laughs> you can't intercept. No! <laughs> <laughs> Did I love that part of the video where it's just like, who? Oh no, I can't intercept. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to do this, but I kind of have to. Um, um, at, Malik. At, at the beginning of the counter blast step, I remove a divine gauge uh -huh, and uh -huh, uh -huh. Vanguard. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Oh my god! Really, I flip my Vanguard down. <laughs> uh, thirteen. Thirteen. To my three? Yes. A little insensitive. Oh. Hold on. I liked it better when you played Force One. <laughs> uh... How does it work, Cedric? <laughs> Please just just tell me what the fuck it is. Um, you you might have actually been correct on that cradle marker thing, apparently, because there's a Q and A on it. What does the Q and A say? We're waiting on that right now. Because from my understanding is that the cradle is like an actual card that you put on top of it. I mean, let's. And that cradle, like, is basically like an additional effect to the card it is on top of. It's what? kind of like a marker almost, but it's not a marker because it doesn't belong to the circle underneath the card it's on. Wait, so uh, a card can be, so a unit can be chosen. Okay. Because to even apply said marker, the RG must be chosen. So, okay, so it would only ever come up if there was a way to put a, a cradle on my uh, on my turn I'm on the Genesis player's turn. Oh, that'll be our next G guard. Don't worry. Okay, uh, thirteen to Vanguard. Okay, so. Uh, I'll, I'll explain this in a bit, because this might actually be really good information for the uh, video. Okay. So, the ruling says, uh, when a cradle marker is placed on a rearguard with divine gauge, this Aegisil's card permanent ability becomes effective. Does the u effect of cradle marker's permanent ability apply to the rearguard that is unaffected by opponent's cards? The answer is, all the marker's abilities are applied and activated. Since the marker is not a card, unaffected by cards does not invalidate anything. Oh, that's right, because markers aren't cards. They're, they are not cards. However... I forgot they were legally different. <laughs> yes. Yes. However, if you were to find a way to apply the marker during my turn when I'm on Yggdrasil, then it works. So, here's the question that I really want to know. 
Yeah. If you're the person that owns the cradle marker, is it affected by it? It doesn't matter. It's not a card. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It, it is a it is a changing condition, but it is not a card. Oh, that's so funky! I love that. It's actually pretty interesting. I like that. Um, so how much? Thirteen. Oh. Okay. Do 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 do. Uh, you. Stando, Eric's. Ah, yeah. Um, ten. Yep, ten. Okay. Get a sweet song and dance. Leave me alone. Nope, I'm gonna keep hitting you. I don't want your damn lemons. <laughs> Thirteen. Eighteen. Fifteen. Why are you guarding so much at two damage? I don't need more than two damage. <laughs> <laughs> two damage. What about this is hard to understand? I don't want that much damage, bro. <laughs> I don't want your fucking lemons. <laughs> life gives you lemons. Give them back to life. We don't need your lemons. Uh, cards in hand? Uh, six. <laughs> Okay. Leave me alone, I don't want your fucking lemons. Let me attack your vanguard and I'm gonna sublast one. Wait, like, fuck man. <laughs> Why is this damn trigger to ruin your entire plan? I still have like five left in the deck. Oh sorry, four left in the deck. Four eight. Oh, no. got it. I understand. Don't worry, I can play my own stand triggers. <clears throat> I mean, they're called uh, natural abilities, so I mean, I guess. I need to make, <laughs> I really want to make like a whole video about like the grade three rear guards and make a colony. Like I already have an idea for the thumbnail and it's gonna be, it's gonna be the scene in Vanguard G where Murikawa is fighting Kuro and he has that stupid grin on his face. And then he shows him the hand of like only grade threes when he asks why he doesn't guard, and it's gonna be like all mecha colony cards. I swear. Okay, so Morikawa is a, an extremely competent player, just a terrible deck builder. Yeah, that's the whole thing. Yeah, I love him. I love him so much. Ah, uh, his character kind of falls apart when you look at him from like the way he's introduced. Well, yeah, but like over time, he becomes less than an asshole. Yeah, he just, like, literally is socially incompetent. Yeah. I mean, that's why I like him. He, he's like me for real. Okay. No. <laughs> Wait, did yeah. you say no guard? Huh? Did you say no guard? Yeah, no guard. Okay. Fiber. Oh my god, damn it. No. No. Oh. That's... Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> Great power. That's really bad. Uh, thirty-two. Oh wait, you're a thir you're a thirteen now, aren't you? Yes, sir. Thirteen. Stand trigger. Right, you were really greedy for that. Thirty-two. Okay, your turn. Go Going hard. to do the thing. Did you just get another Idrisil? <laughs> no, I had this one in my hand the entire time. Yeah. I got another. God. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so oh, now, my fun quality just went to shit. To go searching for Regalia units. <sighs> Unconditionally. Okay. This hand is bad. No, this hand point. is bad. It this hand be. is bad, 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 bad. Skill. Retire herself and remove Divine Gate Soul Charge 3 and Counter Charge. That's an interesting effect. 
Yes, no heals. Yes. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Check myself out. Uh, 23. What a crit. Um. No guard. First check. Second check. Okay, damage check. Second. Critical trigger will fix the vanguard. Skill. Discard. Discard and restand the vanguard. Okay. Attack, skill, counter blast one, soul blast six, and strike. Uh, one, put axis to the side. Three, four, five, and six. Stride to Marduk. Okay. A couple of those are going to go off for right now. Because I'm such a terrible person. Um, uh, actually, that, that actually worked out. I'm gonna bind um, Jotun and add Jotun to hand. Okay. Two accesses go to my drop zone. I give my Vanguard plus 10k. Okay. 30. Great. Uh. Okay. Heal trigger. All effects go to Angelica and I heal. Of course, you still heal. And third check. This will be. 23 with a crit. Kind of screwed myself there. Um, yeah, I did that. Um, 14. Okay, doesn't hit. Cool. Skill. Put everything back into the Yeah, I did a dumb there. I was actually supposed to attack with this multiple times, and I just did not. Wait, which card? Oh, so I was actually so. What happened was, um, I was actually supposed to like do a bunch of like attacks with this column, but okay. what I didn't do was attack with it first because I was hoping for OT, and then I realized that the OT is a stupid goal, so we had three cards in deck. So it's like, well, that's my bad. <laughs> but you had three oh, cards in deck. I had like three cards in deck. <laughs> oh my god, I hate how consistent your deck is. <laughs> Ugh. My turn? Go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Alright, send a draw. FPG man, for this matter. Alright, first time to ride. Oh. Wait. Huh, I could, I could do something funny here. Oh shit, wait. Except I don't want to do something funny. Let me, let me read Mallet Mantis. Uh. Oh man, it covers so much. I hate this. <laughs> it covers so many choke points. I hate this shit. Yeah, it's pretty good. No, it's so like what happened was I left it standing so that it can't be affected. But the problem is the problem, the problem is that it covers even if you chose something that couldn't retire. Yeah, like, because it reduces your power. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair? Oh, gee. It's not fair. Didn't realize it wasn't fair. Jeez. I'm sorry. Vanguard is not fair. Okay. I I'm joking, by the way. Yeah, I get you. It's all good. Uh, where the fuck? Uh, you don't play Virtrum in this build, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> yeah. This is with the shot. Not telling you that. <laughs> well, if I do, then so I mean, <laughs> I could. <laughs> it is indeed possible for this card to be a one of in my deck. All right, minus twenty. <clears throat> yep. Welcome to minus twenty K land. Man. Mender I'm under Persona Raid. If only they made it so that the Vanguard couldn't be affected by your opponent's cards either. Forty two. 
Mm, actually, okay, you already took it. Never mind. Um, fourteen. Oh, what about negative seven? Oh, negative two now. Didn't you just get a stand trigger? Oh, so I said negative two. Oh, okay. Uh, you said four? Fourteen. Attack, skill, go to soul, draw, go to soul list, three, or not three, um, that'd be funny though. Call hell demise? Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops, that wasn't supposed to be face up. Okay. And then skill of hell demise. I'm gonna perfect guard here. Okay, how many cards in hand? Uh, five. Okay. Heal trigger. Um. Power and I heal one. Mm -hmm. Going to heal Eric's. What do you mean, screwed you? You're a force two, it doesn't matter. Oh, you mean like guard wise? Yeah, fair. Because I might have screwed it. You need to get a Genesis unit that says your markers are effective even on your own turn. Uh, even on your opponent's turn. That would be stupid. Like, yeah, literally, that would be beyond broken like not yeah. even as a joke yes like you that would make Uranus the most busted build in the game or I should yes. say Astral Poets yes no yes 42 how much is the other one 52 so I'm at 2 <laughs> I was like negative 2 um 8 28 how much is that? 42? Yep, 42. I know. I'm just shy. Yeah. I'm just shy. I'm 5k shy. Jesus. I was so close. I don't like being put at ends like that. Yeah. I changed like no triggers that. Or actually, I got like three draw triggers that game, didn't I? Yeah, you, 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 uh, you, you drew kind of a lot there. <laughs> I drew, you know, I drew cards. 